Hey everybody and welcome back to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott and I've got another match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Maui on the left and Nega Greer on the right. Boost me up just a little bit. Uh, Maui's flying Wedge, Jack, Colby, and Sabine. So three T-65s um, and then a attack shuttle with Leia. On the right we've got Isege, Garvin, and Shara. Um, so very synergistic list on the right with Nega. He's got Isege who likes to share focus, right? While a friendly ship at range zero to two defends or performs an attack, it may spend your focus as if it's if as if that ship has them. Um, and he's got perceptive co-pilot, give him two. He's got advanced slam, so even after he slams, he can take a stress and double focus, so he can still be supporting his friends. Proton bombs, because why not? And barrage rockets allows him to, as we can see here, shoot barrage rockets out the front and uh, turret out the side. Um, then he's also got Shara. While you defend or perform a primary attack, you may spend one lock you have on the enemy ship to add one focus result to your die results. So she's going to be spending a Sege. She'll double target lock with R3. Uh, she's also got Magva after you defend if the attack hit. You may acquire a lock on that attacker. Um, veteran Tail Gunners can shoot forward and backwards. Garvin, after you spend a focus token, you may choose a friendly ship at range 1 to 3. That ship gains one focus token. So he can spend Isege's focus and then give him right back. He's got Debris Gamut so he can evade. R4 uh, makes his 1s and 2s more blue and a shield upgrade. So he can live a little longer. On the other side, Wedge with Predator gets the reroll in the bullseye. R2 giving him some regen. Um, Jack Porkins, so not the usual elusive chopper build. This is just straight up. Jack is going to try and get rid of that stress. And if he rolls a crit, he's going to take that damage. Or a hit, sorry. A hit damage. Um, Colby, now that's a weird one. You don't see him very often. After you perform a focus or, or a, a barrel roll or boost action, you may flip your equipped... Um, S foils. So I think it's going to be great for. Oh, somebody drop. Uh, I thought this was Maui. Okay. Because now it's cupcakes. Hmm. How long was I operating under this assumption? <laughs> oh boy, that looks like it landed on a rock. No! Maui's in the chat saying it only took me 10 minutes to figure that out. How, how, I'm going back to the chat. Oh, I can't scroll back that far. Ah, wait. Oh God, how did I, how did I mess this up? Okay, I see Maui saying, okay, Cupcakes is gonna play. Oh, I've been bamboozled. It's fine. It's still gonna be a great game. Cupcakes is great. I believe in him. Range 2 in Nishara Bay from Wedge. Yep. One hit to focus. Wedge, what you got, my dude? Well, nothing. So he's just going to take a damage on Shara. Oh, he, he banked and then barrel rolled. That's what it was. Um, Magva. The attack hit, so Shara takes a target lock on Wedge. Okay, so that, is not, that does not count as taking a target lock action. That's what I was checking on. Shara. At initiative four. 
That must mean that Greer has initiative. All right, shooting range two into wedge. Now has a target lock. Three focus needs to check range to a sege. Oh, he's out of range. Oh, bummer. Gonna have to spin the lock. Reroll all three. Gets two hits out of it. That's not bad. Two focus out of wedge. That's two shields. Alright, so Garvin, where you at, buddy? He's way up here. Don't think he, he might have a shot into Colby. Colby! Colby's wings are closed. Oh, yeah, he forgot to use Shara. While you defend or perform a primary attack, you may spend one lock. Well, he'd have to spend the lock to add... If, well... No, I don't think he could have... Right? Because he would spend the lock before he does the reroll. Okay. Uh, Garvin... He's got a range three into Colby. Two plus one for range, plus one for obstruction. Uh, spins the focus, gives it back to Asage. Two hits, one evade, one focus. Doesn't have any tokens, takes one. Rookie says, adding a focus wouldn't have helped here, just made four focus. If he could have gotten the token, that would have been awesome. Yeah, I think he was saying, oh, he could have rolled four dice, but no, you have to spin the lock before you, you have to get rid of the lock before you can re-roll the dice in order to get that focus, so wouldn't have helped. Uh, two hits out of, who this? Is that Jack? Oh, Jack. Into a focus, two shields on Shara. Does Sabine have a shot here? Let's check Colby first. Range three into Garvin. 3v3. Uh, should be four, right? That This was obstructed, yeah. One hit. And three of eights. Can we, like, remove this? And it's gone. Oh, range three from Sabine. Obstructed. nothing okay back to dials we go now in the chat looking to see when we're gonna participate in twitch sings never oh boy I'll look at that later <laughs> I think it's, a, isn't it against Twitch's terms of service to drink on stream? Because that's going to be what it takes. Uh, 
Uh, so Asajj definitely has to turn in. Let's take a look. Yeah, the, uh, the old K-Wing has a very limited dial. Oh, and it disappeared. It's probably going to appear right here. And I'm not going to try that again. <laughs> um, it's like two hard turns, right? Yeah, it's very, very limited. So he's going to do whatever hard turn he has. I think it's... I think he has one banks, two hards, and three banks. But he needs to be close enough to Garvin and Shara to share the love. <laughs> uh-huh who can put Humpty Dumpty back together again let's try something there we go So now, you, hey, I was right. Just two hard turns, not, no red, but does have the uh, it, or the slam. Could just bank in. If he's worried about facing this asteroid or hitting Garvin, I think he should be fine. There's the evade, linked action barrel roll evade into a blue maneuver focus for Sabine. That's a fun trick. A little better when you have juke, but this is a nice thin Sabine and a nice thin jack. Not the uh, not the beefy versions you're used to seeing. All right, Garvin looking for a target lock. Yeah, uh, Maui pointing out in chat, it's going to be hard for Shara to do her thing if she can't stay in range of Asej. Yeah, I'm Asej banked left to... Yeah, he tried. Ooh, 4K and lands on the rock. I, I thought about the 4K, but this is exactly what I thought would happen. But doesn't take any damage for it. Just won't be able to participate in this round. Shouldn't be too bad. I don't imagine these T-65s are turning around. Colby with a three forward. Tries to boost, doesn't fit. Where's your composure, my dude? I am excited about Dead Man Switch on Colby. We didn't talk about that, but he is one of Saul's Renegades. Does get the illicit slot. So when he dies, everything at range one, I'm gonna take a damage. Still has his wings closed for some reason. Oh, he wanted to boost. Oh well. He's got his crack shot lined up on Isej. Check and wedge. Just move up with one forwards. Or twos, sorry. 
Mark in the YouTube chat, Jack the Snack. <laughs> I like that. Let's do an alt art card with Jack flexing. He's got his sleeve pulled up and he's got a snake tattoo. I dig that. Shara versus Asage. Hit crit. Spins the focus. I'm sorry. Now I'm thinking about Jack the Snake and Jake the Snake. You'd have two uh, companion alt art cards. One would have this like goofy cartoon snake and one would have this really badass fully rendered snake <sighs> okay i'm going to i'm going to file that away for later state farm jack i reject that one <laughs> i think i can hold these khakis okay all right i'm i'm into it now uh blanks out hit crit going into garvin Garvin or Asage? Into Asage, so it takes two. Oh, maybe we could do two, like two alt arts that fit together as Jake and Jack and their arm wrestling. When you put them together, it completes the picture, and each of them has this stupid tattoo. Alright. Garvin. This must be range 1 into Colby. Hit hit crit. Spins the lock on the, on the blank. Gets a focus, spins a focus, and then gives it right back. Blank Evade takes Hit Hit Crit on Colby. Let's see what that crit is. Always shuffle your damage deck. Direct Hit takes another one. Down to one. It says you might be able to finish off Colby here. All right, so that was Garvin and the Colby. So now we got Jack. Jack Colby, yeah. These two. Shara's on a rock, so she can't shoot. Range one from Colby into a Sege. Hit crit. One evade takes the crit on the shield. Oh, crack shot. So it takes the shield and a crit. And that is damaged engine. So now <laughs> the one hard turn she has. The one hard turn she has is red. <laughs> oh boy. All right, Jack shooting into a Sege. One hit. 
One evade. Man. You know what? Good job, Asej. You're holding it together. You're about to punch back into Colby. Get him! Yeah, range one from her primary weapon. Is this such a dude? I think he is, actually. Whatever, I'm always going to refer to K-Wings as ladies because of Miranda. Crit, crit! Can you hold it together? No! It takes the crit on Colby. 51 points for Greer. 53 minutes left. What? Oh, I thought, I, for a second there, I thought there was like some kind of veteran turret gunner shenanigans happening. Oh, dead man switch. Oh, that's what he's pointing out. Nice. Sege takes one damage. Garvin takes a shield. And there it is, folks. Dead man switch. From beyond the grave. Uh, Sabine, range three into a Sege. Is that obstructed? I, I don't think so, but I don't know. No, because this edge is only rolling two. Now it says, Wikipedia says, it says just, dude, thank you for doing the work that I was unwilling to do. Uh, three focuses, spins it for three. Two dice, one evade, spins the focus, takes one on a sedge. Down to three. Now it says, today is my birthday, and I'm finally getting a new chair. This bad boy is falling apart on me. So, not to divert too much from X-Wing, but this chair, I searched so long at, you know, uh, Office Depot and Staples and all these places with office furniture. And I was looking at all these, you know, $100 chairs and $200 chairs, all these super luxurious ones, and none of them felt right. And then I just sat down in some crappy, like, $40 chair, and it was perfect. And that's what I've got to this day. Also, happy birthday, Maui. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy, I'm gonna think about you as I relax and enjoy this lumbar support. Alright, so let's refocus on the X-Wing here. Asej should be close enough this turn to actually participate, uh, give focus to everybody. Sara, Shara is the real one here who needs to get back in the fight. She was on the rock. Lucky that uh, Asej and Garvin able to take a ship off the board. Now Shara needs to get back in here, into the scrum. Let's see. Four. Who's got initiative? Greer does. So Garvin will move first. So if you wanted to, Jack could 4K over this rock and roll for the uh, the stress. You know what? Let's let's take a second to celebrate Colby, who never opened his wings, got a dead man switch on two ships and crack-shotted to get a crit through onto the K-Wing. You know what? He went out, but he did a lot of work. It says one banks in, double focuses.
Now he says, why didn't Colby open his wings? Could have done it for free after boosting. He tried to boost, but he couldn't fit it. Yeah, he failed the boost, unfortunately. Oh, wait, who dis? Uh, oh. Sabine lands on a rock, rolls a crit, takes a shield. That's a bummer. Oh, uh, Leia has triggered. So something interesting happening there. <laughs> so for some reason, Garvin is phasing through Sabine as if... Oh, Maui's going to hop in there. And there we go. A bump out of Shara relieves the stress, but no action. Does... Sh might be in range of a sesh, but it looks awful close. All right, gonna roll for the rock. Jack, hold it together. He does. And it's a white maneuver, uh, but he lost his action. I'm not currently looking up images of Jake Farrell. All right, we get a shot here. Range one into the K-Wing. Two hits. Spins Predator. Ooh, for a crit. What's the says you got left three? Is that Wedge? I think that is Wedge. So that would just be a dead Assege. We've got to stop this Wedge on Assege violence. The crit is loose stabilizer, but that should PS kill. Assege, yep. Goodbye, friend. Before any of those focuses could get used. That's kind of the thing about Assege. Like, if you're that close to dying, you probably need to slam and just be used as a focus battery. All right, who's next? I think it's Garvin into Wedge, range one. Oh, wow, two hits and two crits. He says he don't need your mods. So it takes hit crit crit on wedge. Wounded and damaged engine. Lucky to get out of there alive. Does, uh, does Wikipedia have pronunciations? I don't 
see one. E siege. Maybe. Alright, so Shara hit crit. Marksmanship changed the hit to a crit. Yeah. One evade. Oh, somebody just died. Wedge. He was on one, that's right. 7109. I'm right, Jack. Gonna take this range one into Garvin. Two hits. What you got, Garvin? Likes. You got nothing. All right. Who is in a better position here? Uh, I mean, Sabine's not doing great. Jack is okay. It's just Jack and Sabine. The Jelly Bean team. Jack and Sabine. Terrible. Terrible. How is Jack the one with no damage? He's taken one. Sorry. He, does, he did lose one shield. Yeah, I think everybody's been touched a little bit here. Yeah, I don't know what you do with Jek here. Can you one forward without touching that rock? Both players have hit a rock once this game. I, I don't know that you risk it. But Char is just gonna one forward. Yeah, maybe he just YOLOs over the rock. Who goes first? Shara goes first. She could just hold you there. So maybe that's not good. The shuttle has a K turn, right? Well, this K-Wing dial doesn't matter anymore. Let's go back into the spectator mode. And take a look. 4K. Yeah, Garvin's stressed. I think you just run with him. Maybe do a two forward. Close your wings, two forward, focus, boost. Eh, you don't have blue hard turn, so being perpendicular here doesn't help you. Yep, does the boost forward, then a 4K. Takes the stress. Gets a good amount of distance there. Leia gets one charge back. Too hard out of Garvin. Oh, his um, R4 does give him blue turns, so forget everything that I said. Now, does Shara get through here? Oh, no, he boosts. He's got his wings closed. Shara moves up. Double target lock. Let's see what she's got in range. I don't think Sabine is. Nope. So she's going to lock a rock or just delete it and then lock Jack. All right, Jack, what you got? One bank. Does he have arc on her? Uh, 
it's going to be very close, but I don't think so. All right, Jack, let's see if you can hold this range one shot from Shara with a target lock. One hit and three focus. No, you cannot spin Garvin's. I'm gonna spin that lock. Ooh, into two more focus and a blank. And there's two natty evades out of Jack. Does he catch it? Nope. So Shara might be moving into prime veteran tail gunner. If she can get between these rocks, she could potentially shoot Sabine and Garvin, or Sabine and Jek. Now Jek could K-turn. He could hold it together. Jack Talon roll. He, well, he does move after, right? We could see a 4K out of Shara. I think a, a hard two would be pretty good, actually. I mean, you'd have to shoot out the back arc, but you could potentially block Jack. Sabine, two forward, relieves that stress. Looking to barrel roll? Yep. I wonder what she's doing. Taking the linked action evade. Too hard out of Shara. Yep, that was a good call. And puts locks on Sabine and Jack. No, she does not have Debris Gambit, but you know who does? Garvin, and we have not seen him do it yet. Ooh, that doesn't fit. <laughs> yeah, the, the program didn't call it out, but that don't fit. Ooh, the Talon roll from Jack. Is he gonna roll for it or is he gonna keep it? I think you roll for it because you might be able to barrel roll, well, Yeah, I think you're in arc right now. He rolls for it. He takes an eyeball. He's fine. Take the stress away. And he barrel rolls out of that back arc for Shara. Stress? Not today. All right, range two into Sabine, hit crit. One of the eight spins the other. She's safe. Oh, you know, we need a gif of an umpire. Safe. All right, range two from Sabine into Shara. 3v1. Hey, 
three hits. And a focus result. Shara takes three damage, and that's half points. 105 to 109, so close. Greer still in the lead. Do you think Jack K turns, or does he three talon again? Does that land on this rock? Can he three talon and go forward? Ooh, he did it from here. Did he push himself forward? No, he he landed here and then barrel rolled. He landed here and barrel rolled backwards. He was up here. Hmm. I don't know, Jack, can you hold it together? All right, Leia's fully charged and gets triggered. I have not been keeping track of that, unfortunately. So maybe we, we're definitely gonna see some sort of 4K. I mean, some kind of K turn out of Jack. It's just, does he try to fit the 3K? One bank out of Sabine. Barrel rolls into a linked action, evades. What's she getting out of that? 4K out of Shara. It's just undermining her ability. I thought she would focus. Ooh. Too hard turn out of Garvin. Misses that rock. So he got rid of... Oh, there's the focus. Okay, I was wondering, we, we hadn't done the action for Garvin yet. But there's the 4K from Jack. His wings are closed, which tells me he wants to boost. Maybe he doesn't want to be stressed. Ooh, is he going to roll for it? Yep, here's the uh, here's the Jack roll. Or nope, looks like Jack is gonna keep the stress. That's fine. Uh, which one is this? Garvin, range 3 into Shara. 2 plus 1 for range, plus 1 for obstruction, so it is obstructed. 3 dice with a focus versus 4 with an evade. Spends the focus for 3. 2 natural evades, spins the token for 3. All right, Jack. Range three through a rock into Garvin. Garvin spent his focus. Three v four. Oh, two. Sorry, his his wings are closed. Bummer. Oh no! <laughs> the crit goes through. It's a direct hit onto Garvin. Oh boy. <laughs> and that's half points. 134 to 109. Cupcakes back in the lead. Sabine range three into Garvin.
Ooh, three natural evades. And back to dials we go. Shara on three, Garvin on two. Jex only lost one shield. Sabine still stressed. It seems like Garvin and Shara should be able to just clean up Sabine. And with that stress, Sabine has to come forward. Can't do any of her barrel roll or boosts before moving. I just, I don't know that this barrel roll back, I mean, unless she was trying to get away from Garvin. Straight two takes the focus. So not gonna stress herself this time. And wants to shoot, maybe? Ooh! Oh boy, two bank out of Shara. Relieves the stress. She's already got a lock. Looking to barrel roll? I guess Garvin? She was worried about Garvin? Oh, that's a bummer. That is a big bummer. Yeah, okay, there goes the stress. I was like, you're close enough to the the obstacle. You should be fine. Um, Jack moves up. Takes a focus. Garvin looking for some natties here on Sabine. Hit crit. Sabine with a focus. Rolls an eyeball, spins it, takes the crit. Blinded pilot on Sabine. Alright, Shara does still have a range one into Sabine, has the target lock. We have not seen Sabine triggered once this game oh boy that would have been great <laughs> spins the lock to reroll the two focus hit crit crit on sabine she's gonna take a crit no matter what one of eight takes two It was a direct into a fuel leak. So she's super dead. All right, Jack. I think in a shower. Spins the focus for two. <laughs> oh, he is he shooting into Shara? Because he's got crack shot. Yep. Spins it to put one into Shara. And 
And all right, 153 to 134. Garvin and Shara barely hanging on here. Jex got four and one. saying K-turn Garvin and then hard turn Shara into him. Uh, yeah, she's stressed. I mean, you can just move away, get rid of the stress and focus, and then actually use your ability. Blocked by this rock. Lou, yeah, give it a shot, man. That'd be awesome. This is the snake that Jack has to have. Ah, <laughs> oh, so bad. So dumb. All right. One bank left out of Shara. I like that. Takes the focus. Maui, the khakis, that's a different thing. Oh, what is that from... From Garvin, a three talent roll? Why? Yeah, I definitely thought he would four, and that would cover almost anything. All right, Jack with a focus. <laughs> Greer says I'm big dumb. <laughs> All right, Shara out the back, range three, nicely done by Jack. 2v3, now, if Shara rolls all paint, she can spend her lock. Oh, she doesn't. I think you just... Well, okay. I was going to say, I think you just spin the lock and add a focus and then mod it, because it's guaranteed. But, oh, one evade takes one shield on Jek. He is now shieldless. Range two from Jek into Garvin. Ooh, one hit. And two, Natty evades. He's fine. Uh, let's see, where are you at, Jack? Yeah, his wings are open. Sorry. Now the problem with Garvin, I mean, besides that that was not an optimal move, is that he pretty much has to come this way, which leaves Jek able to three bank in after Shara. Pretty much put himself right where Garvin is. Too hard in a barrel roll backwards actually would block it. The 
Ugh. Check K turn. No, <laughs> he could. Uh, if he really expected Garvin to come out here, you could K turn, but you'd be kind of vulnerable to Shara. Shara has two left. You sh well, you can't PS kill her. He does a one forward. He's looking at all his upgrades, he's thinking. Takes the focus. One forward from Shara. All right, Jack. What you got? Let's actually check that range. Yep, she's got the... She's got the range, she's got the range. I think you focus there, though. Well... Yeah, folk, if you if you can only do one, um, focus and target lock have the same odds. There's more, better chance for crits on the target lock. I think you go focus there just in case Jack can shoot back. Eh, I don't know. Shara out the back, blank, and a hit. All right, one. Ooh, double focus for Jack. Now, does he spend it? I think you spend it. Otherwise, it's half points. Yeah. All right. Three dice. 3v1. Should favor the attack dice. Oh, two. This could kill her. And that is it for Shara. 153 to 168 cupcakes back in the lead. Jack versus Garvin. <sighs> hmm. Do you talent roll with? 4k do you hard turn there's not a whole lot Garvin can do he can 4k <sighs> 4k is pretty good for Garvin because if Jack hard turns he's facing this direction then you'd have to barrel roll, which might get him in there, or close his wings and boost. Jack rolls for it, gets a focus. Garvin's gonna take his shot. Range three. One hit. One evade. All right, Jack's got the focus. Garvin does not. This could end him. Hit focus, spins it for two. Needs at least one evade to live, and he doesn't get it! Oh, GG, gentlemen, what a fantastic game.
Wow, right down to the end there. T70 versus, ooh, T65 versus T65. Um, Jack versus Garvin, companions in the rebellion, forced to battle it out for our entertainment. Thank you to the people for playing. Thank you to everybody for watching. Till next time, this is Scott from Hexiled Gaming. Signing off.